Okay, good afternoon. Uh, so today I will discuss about uh, the first experiment of the uh, lab. <clears throat> so the first experiment is a unipolar uh, NRZ. Uh, just I give you a brief idea about that. What is the unipolar NRZ? Then I will go with an implementation part. Now first consider here uh, unipolar uh, NRZ. Uni unipolar NRZ. NRZ stands non return to a zero. So here I look at the waveform for this. Uh, just I consider one sequences here one zero one zero. <clears throat> then how how we need to construct the unipolar NRZ waveform for this sequence? Now uh, it is very simple. When the message sequence is one, no, you will get a positive amplitude plus a. And whenever whenever the sequences is zero and there is no transaction. Whenever the sequences is one and uh, you will get a plus a amplitude and whenever the um, sequences is zero and there is no transaction. So this is all about the waveforms uh, regarding that uh, unipolar NRZ. Then we will go with a uh, block diagram. <coughs> okay, a block diagram. Block uh, diagram for this. Now uh, look at here first uh, first block is Bernoulli. What is this Bernoulli? Okay, Bernoulli uh, is uh, it generates the uh, sequences, okay, random uh, sequences. Next, this Bernoulli is applied to an a product, a product. And now uh, here one more uh, component we need to choose that is called as an a constant. What is this constant? Constant means here as I told that uh, when the sequences is one, you will get a plus say amplitude okay, that amplitude is this constant you can set amplitude 1 2 3 and so on uh, if you set amplitude is in 1 then your input and outputs are same input and outputs are uh, same 1 1 and if you set a 2 then output is uh, two times of the uh, input okay for example input is 1 then two time uh, output becomes 2 if you set 3 so if input is 1 output becomes a 3 okay fine now this one is passes through <coughs> AWGN channel, AWGN uh, channel. Then I will apply to a scope here. Okay, this is a scope. What is that scope? Scope means where we need to uh, check the results. Then I diagram, I diagram. Okay, so this is all about a block diagram of uh, unipolar and NRZ. Same uh, block diagram we need to construct uh, in the uh, simulink uh, software. Okay, now come to the point. Just I go with the MATLAB. Okay, go with the MATLAB. Just double click on the MATLAB. Once you double click on the MATLAB, you'll get this kind of window. Then your simulink software. Just click on the uh, simulink. Once you click on the uh, simulink, and uh, you'll get this kind of uh, window. Okay, once you click on the simulink, and another window will open. In that window, we need to uh, click a uh, create model. Once you click the create model and you will get this final uh, window where we need to construct the uh, block diagram. <clears throat> now uh, come to a point here um, in the block diagram. Block diagram is consisting of a total uh, uh, six component here. Bernoulli product, uh, AWGN scope, uh, I diagram and constant. Now so same uh, six uh, components I just I select here. OK, just make it big, okay, make it big. Now, how to select the component? Uh, go to the uh, library browser. Uh, just uh, type the component, whichever you want. Here, so just I type uh, first one is a Bernoulli. Okay, Bernoulli. Just search it. So here we get at the right hand side. Click on the right and add block to model. Okay, this is the first step. First component, what you chosen, and go to the next one. Next one is a product. Go to product, product, yeah, type here, uh, search it here. So here we got it, product. Just right click and add block to model. Next, a constant. What is the next component? We need a constant, okay, constant. Okay, and now just uh, search it here, constant. So we got it the right hand side. Just uh, right click and add block to model, constant. Then what is the next uh, component is AWGN. So AWGN, just click here and uh, yeah, we got it. Right click and add block to model AWGN. Okay. Then a uh, scope. Okay, scope. Just type here scope. Uh, just click here scope and search it. 
so we got here scope just right click and add block to model then what is the next diagram i diagram next component is <clears throat> i diagram just type it here and uh, search it so you will get here i diagram just right click and add block to model so here uh, we got uh, all uh, components are added here just arrange all this component uh, in as per the block diagram Hmm? Yeah, just I arranged uh, the component as per the block diagram and here uh, first uh, do the configurations of the devices. Now look at this uh, block diagram of uh, here. Here uh, scope has uh, two inputs One minute. Yeah, here a uh, scope has uh, two input one from AWGN channel and another from uh, Bernoulli. Okay, now uh, but what we have selected that uh, scope has only one input correct one input make changes so just double click on that uh, go to view and uh, configuration properties and change the input the number of inputs are uh, two and uh, then go to the select layer layer should be uh, vertical okay now click on ok now so here uh, we got a two input for scope then you can change this constant value as I told you that if you given one the input and outputs are same then it is very difficult to identify which is input and which is output or to separate it to differentiate that uh, just I assign some uh, output constant is two now just uh, uh, pin configurations uh, means uh, over okay uh, configurations of the devices is assigned just to do the connections as per the <coughs> diagram <coughs> Yeah, uh, connections are over uh, as per the diagram. Now, uh, just before going to the compilations, just save it. Uh, just save and assign some name. Okay, assign some name unipolar. Yeah, just I given some random name and uh, select the locations. Just I select your desktop. Okay, and save it. <coughs> Now we constructed the block diagram and we have saved with the some name. Okay. Uh, then what is the next step? It is very simple. Next go to for uh, implementation or compilation. Just click on the run button here. Uh, so for compilation, it takes some time. So here, yeah, it is compiled. Just for time being, it is closed this. Now, if you want to check the output, uh, you need to click on the scope. Just double click on the scope. So you will get the output so here uh, the below one okay below one waveform is uh, <clears throat> input and the above one is output so here output waveforms are not accurate uh, because awgn channel okay if you want to get an accurate if you want to get an accurate you can change this uh, configuration just double click on that uh, awgn and here uh, increase the uh, signal to noise ratio just click on uh, okay then run one once again okay if you change any configurations of the devices uh, you should run once again save and run that is better okay uh, save and uh, run yeah uh, then uh, okay just double click on a w uh, scope yeah now you got here exact output the below one is an uh, input here and the above one is an output hmm? whenever the in sequences is one so what is the output uh, this way you should get a plus a amplitude here i uh, given a two so that's why you'll get a two okay whenever the sequences is zero and there is no transaction uh, so this is the uh, output waveform for unipolar nrz same thing for third one also no third one whenever input sequences is one you will get a plus a amplitude so here two amplitude here because uh, we have given uh, two values hmm? yeah two constant value then uh, go to the next one i diagram so you need to check the i diagram also for checking then i diagram just run okay assign thousand here just run it and you'll get the uh, i diagram 
so this is the i diagram for uh, unipolar nr uh, z so this is all about uh, wave forms and i diagrams for the unipolar nr uh, z okay yeah okay thank you